Times Square in New York City. I have an exciting guest to bring to you live here on News Now from Fox this morning. Joining us is Eric Ionson. He is the Mars Exploration Program Director with NASA. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Just incredibly excited uh, at the results from yesterday. Absolutely. So let's talk about that. I do have video I'm going to pull up here while you're talking about it. Great. Yeah. So yesterday we had our entry, descent and landing and uh, things went as well as they can go. Uh, as you may have heard in the past, uh, we call this uh, the uh, seven minutes of terror and going from uh, we go from uh, hitting the Martian atmosphere at uh, 12,000 miles per hour uh, to landing on uh, the surface uh, uh, completely stationary. So 12,000 miles per hour to zero uh, in seven minutes. And during that time, we're uh, going through uh, the uh, atmosphere of Mars and uh, we're reaching uh, temperatures of over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we're deploying uh, a parachute. Uh, we are uh, using thrusters to try and get to uh, the perfect spot. Uh, we use something called uh, terrain uh, relative navigation in order to be able to find a safe place to land in uh, Jezero Crater, which is the location that we landed in. Uh, and uh, we lowered gently to the surface using a sky crane. Just an incredible uh, process and it worked out picture, picture perfect. So everything went as planned without a hitch, right? Absolutely. Uh, actually, you know, it only takes one little thing to go wrong in order for uh, a wonderful day to turn out not so great. And uh, it went perfectly. Uh, we landed in a location that was uh, very safe. Uh, they're only at about a 1% tilt right now. The, the Perseverance rover is only at about a 1% tilt, uh, which is uh, fantastic. And uh, we uh, set, we uh, pick a target point, and uh, we were within uh, 1.7 kilometers uh, from that point, a little to the uh, southeast, and uh, that's uh, we were in a very great spot. So we're really pleased. How long is the rover going to be on the Red Planet? So we're we're there permanently, so we're not coming home, <laughs> um, but. Uh, the operations are planned for a year, uh, but uh, in the past, our rovers have lasted much longer than that. Uh, currently, uh, Curiosity rover, which uh, launched in 2012, has been operational for eight years, uh, and it's still going strong. So uh, we're hopeful that this mission is going to last us a very long time. I believe that I heard that uh, the U.S. is the third rover that's currently on the Red Planet. Is that true? Uh, so we have... Uh, Curiosity uh, is the only one that's operational uh, right now. Um, so uh, there are three missions that are currently uh, that have currently arrived at at uh, Mars. Uh, so we have uh, the UAE, their Hope mission, and uh, China's uh, Tianwen One uh, just arrived. Uh, so they they all arrived uh, relatively close to one another. Both of those were last week, and now we've arrived uh, yesterday. Why Mars of all the planets? Well, it's it's a close by neighbor uh, and it provides really great insights as to what Earth may have been like in the past. Uh, we're hopeful that potentially that there could have been life at one time. And that's really one of the key things that we're looking to do with this mission uh, is uh, to see if there are signs of ancient life uh, that may have occurred in this location, Jezero Crater, which may have been very conducive to life in the distant past, perhaps uh, three and a half billion years ago. Uh, and it's also uh, a very great target for human exploration in the future. So this is a, a great precursor mission to that. So I feel like there was a lot of fanfare yesterday. How did it make you feel that so many people were cheering on the team? It, 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 make, it makes me feel great for the team who put so much work into this. Uh, the it, just it's, you know, years and years of effort and just thousands of people who have put so much into this. And it, it makes me so proud that, that this worked exactly right. <clears throat> and um, and I think it makes everyone in the country proud. I, I can't tell you the number of people who have reached out to me just excited, who had nothing to do with, with NASA, uh, just watching uh, in awe of this uh, amazing accomplishment. Anything else you want to tell me that I uh, didn't ask? 
just uh, continue to go to nasa.gov to uh, look for information about the mission. Uh, we got a couple of images yesterday. I expect more to continue to, to come, and uh, it is just going to be an incredible mission, and please follow along at nasa.gov. For those who are watching and say, I want to work on a Mars rover when I grow up, what do you want to say to them? Study hard. Uh, learn your math and science, although we have people from all different types of educational backgrounds who support uh, the uh, Mars program. Uh, and uh, just uh, follow your dreams. Uh, I know I followed my dreams and I made it to NASA and you have a day like yesterday that makes it all worthwhile. All right, Mars Exploration Program Director Eric Einstein joining us live right here on News Now from Fox this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, everybody, we are taking a live look now at Times Square in New York City, where, yeah, there's still some snow flurries. More news now from Fox is two minutes away.